Hello. Uh, today we will see how to create uh, a dispersion effect. So we'll see how to go from this to something like this using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just drag the image that you want to use. And now the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, try to cut this image. So we'll put it in another background. Okay, so let's choose a selection tool. And we'll just try to cut really quickly in here. And by pressing Alt, I can just deselect the area that I don't want to be selected. So I'll just continue. All right, now we we'll try to make it uh, in a layer mask. So we we'll just press in this icon in here, as you can see. Mix our layer max. Now we'll make uh, another layer by pressing Control click. So we'll make it under this one in here. And I will just fill it in blue. And then I will double click. And I will choose gradient overlay. And I will try to uh, choose a blue color in here for this gradient. The darker one. White and bright one in here. Okay. Now I will change the side to radio and I will reverse the color and I will make the scale 100. And for the angle, I try to choose a really nice 45 angle and I will press OK. Now I will try to refine a little bit of uh, this hair in here so we just go to this layer mask and i would right click and i would choose refine mask now i would check smart radius and then uh, i would just try to refine a little bit in here these areas like so All right, now uh, I will try to make uh, the contrast a little bit higher, so we choose uh, 16 or 17, like so. All right, and I will press OK. As you can see, it makes a little uh, really nice uh, job because we we need just this part of this image so it's, not, it's, it's okay to to be like that now i will try to bring uh, back some of these uh, details in here so we choose the layer mask and then i will choose a white color and i will try to bring this detail in here and I will try to clean it, but it doesn't matter, so we'll just for the sake of the tutorial. All right, let's bring back this wire in here. So we'll just Now, uh, 
we'll, uh, we'll duplicate this image in here so we we'll press ctrl G and uh, let's see let's uncheck this layer in here and we'll just try to make a snapshot so we'll make a new layer and then we choose shift ctrl alt E so we'll have it in a separate layer in here let's call this cutting image and let's put this in a bag in the, in the folder by pressing ctrl J and now we'll check the background in here now we'll make a copy of this and for this one in here we'll choose a liquify filter so we'll go to filter liquify and then uh, what we're gonna do is first of all we'll just freeze uh, a little uh, some of the area in here so we we'll go to this freeze tool in here and we we'll just freeze this part in here that we want to seal like so and then we choose the forward tool and we try to make it stretch it a little bit like so So something like that and do it okay now we would make a, a layer mask by pressing alt one click and then this one in here we make a layer mask and then we choose uh, brushes and I will put these brushes in here in a in a link you can download this in the description below and then I would choose this one in here and I will try to delete a little bit of the details in here. So we we'll just delete some of the details you can see. In the hair too. You can always rotate the image so we we'll see. Better. Choose the other one in here. Make it smaller. The neck. Let's go back to this one in here. All right, now uh, we'll, we'll keep in the, the same layer, but now we we'll change the color to white, and we we'll try to bring back uh, some of like a uh, dispersion effect from the same layer. So we we'll just switch this one in here, and we we'll try to bring a little bit of. details you can see turn down the passage a little bit for this one in here
aqui. Now we we'll go to this warp layer in here that we let to fight. And we we'll try to have fun with it. So you can turn down the, the opacity so we'll give it a, a more nice effect as you can see. Also, you can just delete, keep it with the details. switching in the the white and black Now let's change the color of the brush. Let's choose this one in here. And we make it smaller. Just delete a little bit of the details in here. This area that I don't want. brush and we can also like make a layer and we try to sample from the colors in here and we make our own dispersion like so as you can see to give it more but for the sake of the tutorial I will just stop in here now uh, what I did is I made create uh, a black and white color uh, adjustment and 
I just change the blending mode to soft light and then I will I just double click in it and I just uncheck this red channel in here for the hair that you can see to make it uh, to give it a really nice color and I press OK and that's it so I hope that uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know, have a nice day